My name is Aiden Beers. I'm a graduate student at the University of Colorado at Boulder, and I study pikas because they're awesome. Ain't that right, little buddy? mountainous regions all over western North America. Now recently they've become a species of great conservation interest, in part because they're so well adapted to the cold mountainous environments. But what happens when the climate changes? If things are warming, maybe there's less precipitation, how well are they going to do? Well, some evidence suggests that they're being extirpated at an alarming rate from areas of the Great Basin and possibly in the future from all over the Rockies. Well, you can't chew what I'm saying because it's too windy up there, but I'll tell you. Behind me, that mass of jumbled rocks is called a talus slope. Pikas live almost exclusively in talus slopes in the mountains. The way the rocks are assembled provides an air buffer layer from the extremes of the surface environment. If the air is hot, it's a bit cooler under the talus. If it's too cold, it tends to be a little warmer under there. Now what I propose to do is to deploy cameras all over Nome Pika territory. Track what they do on the surface when they come to the surface in the winter and what they're doing underneath the surface, down in their nests. Now in addition to these cameras, I'll also be tracking if they're moving between known patches in the winter. I'll make transects back and forth between the patches, looking for pike tracks, trying to figure out when and if they... Now it's going to be cold, it's going to be windy, there's going to be a lot of snow, and it's going to be very hard work. So I'll need your help to get this very field work done. Your donations will help me to buy the necessary equipment such as the cameras and thermometers that I need to track what pikas are doing, what sort of conditions they're surviving, 